Um, we're going to put this little video together just to help people be able to um, maybe have a look at some different ideas and another way that people can work with their horses. Um, if you're like me, you'll use YouTube a lot and be uh, putting your eyes out of all the good stuff. Um, I've got two horses here that I've been asked to work with. Um, one is a little three-year-old who um, is quite but quite quiet by nature and the other one is an eight-year-old gelding who's um, quite reactive and uh, quite flighty, very sensitive but um, and has had absolutely zero handling at all except for the last few days uh, where we've started to bring them in and get used to halters and covers and all those sorts of things. So two completely different kinds of horses and um, I want to show you how I'm going to be working with different approaches for the different horses temperaments and um, you know just adapting your behaviour and your training depending on which horse uh, you're going to be working with. So um, they're having their breakfast right now which is um, a real benefit to having them come in and have something they like, it's a reward. So the minute they see me, they think, oh great, um, goody, we get to have a treat, and they've got a good attitude. And um, for me, it's all about attitude. The more the horse is willing and um, happy about what, what's going to happen, uh, the greater their learning capacity is. So uh, the wee four-year-old, or rising four-year-old, um, She's pretty good. She can handle most things because she's a quiet type of horse. Um, I dare say she's probably had a lot more petting and that sort of thing and um, it comes out when I'm doing the basics. But you've got to be careful because she's still got a baby brain and uh, I've got to take that in consideration even though she's a pretty much a lamb to work with. Um, but all things and you know the things that we're introducing to her are new. Um, they've only this is the first time they've had covers on. Um, first time the, the um, bullseye has had halters on and that sort of thing so it's all really new for them. Um, we've got a pretty good set up here where we've got a nice round bin with a sand base and then we've got a selection of little holding paddocks around um, which I've got to say makes my life um, infinitely easier because I can use the paddocks in different ways depending on what I'm needing. Um, the concept basically with a round pen, I don't really care if it's a round pen or a square pen, but um, basically when you've got a restricted area, you, you do have an outside rein. Um, basically that's how the, um, the outside rail works. The, um, I do quite a lot of liberty work and it's absolutely not absolutely necessary and I find that if I can get the horses trusting me at liberty when they can leave at any time, you're basically um, going to have a horse that's got a pretty good attitude because if they don't, they, they'll bugger off. So um, once the horses have finished having their breakfast, we're going to take the covers off and um, just take it from there. It looks like they might have had their breakfast because uh, it's wandering off. Okay, so I'm going to bring the young four-year-old, rising four-year-old, over to the rail so I can take your cover off. Um, you know, don't ever forget your basics where we undo the cover from... Um, uh, the sur singles first, then the front straps, then the back straps, just so that if they get a fright, they bugger off, they don't have their cover dragging around under their feet and frightening them further or any such thing. Now these are all pony club things that I learnt when I was probably six years old, which is um, about 50 years ago, um, and are invaluable. So, um, you know, some of these real standard basics are pretty critical when it comes to horse safety and horse management. Number one is always safety. There's no point how bloody flesh you are if you're dead. So, um, you know, we try to think about trying to stay in one piece and uh, keep safety as our prime importance. Okay. Hello.